the National Container Terminal Services Incorporated is in the business of acquiring, developing, managing, and operating container ports and terminals worldwide. Established by Mr. Enrique Giredon on December of 1987 here in the Philippines. In May of 1988, the Philippine Port Authority awarded the MICT contract to ICT for which the Manila International Container Terminal is handling the International Container Cargo at the Port of Manila. The company started operating the MICT on June of 1988. As of December 2013, the ICT is involved in 28 terminal concessions and port development projects in 20 countries worldwide. The International Container Terminal Services Incorporated has become the leading operator, innovator, and pioneer in this field. Here are the financial ratios of ICT compared to its competitor ATI Asian Terminal Incorporated. First is the price over earnings. Price over earnings gives us the idea of what the market is willing to pay for the company's earnings. The fee of ICT is higher than ATI. It is defined that ICT has a better long-term prospect over ATI. Next is the price over sales. The lower the price over sales, the better the value. In the graph, ICT is lower than ATI, implying that ICT is profitable than ATI. Next is the price over book. In this graph, ATI has a lower price over book than ICT, reflecting greater expected future gains because of perceived growth opportunities. However, the price over book of ICT still implies a satisfying ratio, for it is still within the range which indicates a future growth creation potential. Next is the return on assets. The competing company has a higher return than the ICT. It signifies that ATI is better at converting its investment into profit. However, the ROA of ICT still implies a good ROA percentage because it is still within the range. Next is the price earnings growth ratio. ATI has no price over earnings growth ratio, indicating that the competing company is incurring losses. The PEG of ICT indicates that it is earning more than to its competing company. Lastly, the technicals of ICT. Shown here is the six-month chart of ICT. Its stock closed at 110. A downtrend at the third quarter of the year. However, there's a slight downtrend reversal. Upon looking to its RSI, the stock has not reached the oversold levels. It may continue to its current state. MACD is also bearish in its view. Forecast for ICT to continue to in its downtrend with immediate support at 110. However, it can go down to 105. It is probable that it will reach oversold levels at around 109. For now, wait in the sidelines. Prepare to buy at around 108. Thank you.